Assalamu alaikum class. Today I am going to discuss the ladybird beetle. That insect is important from economical point of view because it is the pest of most uh, because it is the uh, uh, because it uh, preys upon most of the pest uh, or those insects which are damaging for Ladybird beetle is the name that has been used in the England for more than 600 years for the European beetle that is known as the Cochinilia uh, septum punctata. As the knowledge about these insects increases, the name became extended to all its relatives and uh, all the members belonging to the family Cochinilidae. In the USA, the name ladybird was properly, uh, popularly Americanized to the ladybugs, although these insects are beetles, these are not the bugs. Now the word ladybird applies to the whole family of the beetles. Here you can see the whole family of the uh, beetles and uh, they belong to the super family Cucojoidae which in turn belong to the series Cucojiformia uh, within the suborders Polyphaga of the beetles. Now what is the taxonomic position? Scientific name is the Cochinella Magnifica. Uh, you have to uh, write this in uh, italics because this is scientific name. Uh, Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Arthropoda, Class Insecta, Order Coleoptera, Suborder Polyphaga, Superfamily Cocojoidea, uh, Family uh, Cochinilidea. Now, this is the morphological description of uh, Ladybird beetle from the dorsal side and from the ventral side. This is the antenna, anterior most uh, region of the body. This is the head. This is the pronotum, which covers the uh, mostly um, um, anterior region of the thorax. This is the scutellum. This is the hyaluron, hard part. Um, uh, hard wings, a lateral suture which divides the elytra into two, and this is the um, ventral region. This is a tarsal claw of uh, the leg. This is tarsus. This is the tibia, and this is the femur. These are the regions of the legs. These are the maxillary, pulpus, antennae, post sternum, post sternal carnea. Mesosternum, metasternum, elytra, epiphyllaron, and the post coxal lines. Ladybird beetle abdomen consists of 1 to 8 segments or 1 to 9 segments, whereas the uh, first two third segments are mostly invisible and fourth to 8 segments in the male or fourth to 9 segments in the female ventrally uh, visible in the ladybird beetle abdomen. And uh, you can distinguish uh, ladybird beetles with. Some scientists also discovered that the male genitalia are important for distinguishing or for distinguishing the species or in the taxonomy. The second half of the 20th century was a golden age of uh, uh, taxonomy for ladybird beetles. Their abdomen is main third segment of their body. Now, this is the Biology of ladybird beetle. The ladybird beetle belong to the family Cochinellidae of order Coleoptera. The members of the family are exclusively predators on the aphids, mealybugs, scale insects, white flies, thrips, leaf hoppers, mites, and other small soft bodied insects. Pests. Average length and breadth of larvae was approximately 1.47 plus plus minus 0 0.16 and 0 0.42 plus minus 0 0.02 mm respectively average width of head capsule is was 0 0.25 plus minus 0 0.02 mm mean length and breadth of the pup was 3.88 plus minus 0 0.19 mm and uh, 2.30 plus minus 0 0.45 mm respectively number of eggs laid by the indi an individual female of the lady bird beetle range from 195 to the maximum 839 eggs within the mean of 382 plus minus 163.17 eggs. A female fecundity, uh, it is the ability of the female to lay the eggs under the 25 degree centigrade temperature is about 400 eggs. 
the range is 200 to 700 eggs on average 9 eggs per day their life cycle has four stages eggs larvae pupae and the adult eggs are uh, yellow orange in uh, color and the spindle shape here you can see the eggs of these insects and laid in the cluster of 5 to 30 usually located near the colonies of insects that they eat. definitely they need food uh, when the larvae emerge so eggs are laid near the colonies where food is available in plenty may be mistaken for eggs of some pest beetle such as colorado potato beetle mexican bean beetle and the squash beetle next is the larvae larvae is totally different from the adult here you can see the alligator like appearance and uh, spines are originated from the body of uh, larvae uh, um, and dark uh, larvae has dark and mostly black with the orange or yellow patches or markings bristles are originated from their body and they are very active uh, predators pupae is the size of an adult however it is wrapped uh, at any stage of morphos uh, metamorphosis it is wrapped the wrapping protects the pupae while it undergoes the final stages of metamorphosis into the adult stage this last stage lasts for only few seconds uh, sorry few days this is the adult this is the uh, here you can see the uh, dorsal surface of the adult and this is the mental surface of the adult uh, the dorsal surface of the adult is the convex in shape uh, and it has uh, bright colors uh, along with the spots uh, ranging from black to pink yellow or red this is the adult ladybird beetle it lays eggs on the leaves of the plants and then the larval emer larvae emerge then pupae stage lasts for the five to seven days and then a, a, a adult converted into the adults this is our adult adults of uh, two different species they lay egg on the eggs and then larvae is emerged and pupae and then it is converted into the adult there are various types of ladybird beetles that is the two spotted uh, ladybird beetle it is a native of the north america and the europe and these adult beetles have red wings with the two black or brown species and they their size is four to five mm long uh, and they mostly feed on the uh, soft uh, bodied pest in the garden like if it's the beetle is commercially variable uh, from insectuaries this is the twice uh, stabbed lady a bird beetle and uh, these uh, their diet is primarily scales which can be a nasty insect pest to control you can often find these ladybird hunting for their next meal in the trees this is the seven spotted lady a bird beetle and uh, it's also mostly feed on the uh, pest efforts and now established in the north america this is the pink spotted ready bird beetle this pink spotted uh, lady bird beetle uh, feed on the plants next is the millibug destroyer lady bird beetle millibug is a major pest of and uh, this beetle feed on the millibug and other soft scales and you can purchase them commercially uh, from next is the multicolored asian red uh, ladybird beetle these feed on the aphid scales silates and this is considered to be the friend of the gardeners next is the convergent ladybird beetle convergent la ladybird beetle uh, it is a prominent it has prominent uh, black and white patterns on their heads and the spots on their red wings can number from just few to as many as 13 they are the they feed on many insect pest next is the spider mite destroyer it has very small size but it uh, feeds on the spider mites their alternative foods 
they supplement uh, themselves with the alternative foods if uh, their preys are not available in the plenty that may be their food may be food uh, flavor nectar honey dew sugary excretion of piercing sucking insects such as the aphids and the white flies many plant species also contain organelles in the location that the plant other than flower termed extra floral nectaries that produce a nutrient laden secretion they were the herbivorous and if violet was the first thought that extra floral, floral nectaries were used by the plants for excretion it is well sustained that the most plant actually use the extra floral nectaries to attract the predator and parasites for protection from other uses of ladybird beetle in biological control they are beneficial because they are the predator of the homoptera or carrion many of which are considered as the pest one type of biological control is called the manipulative biological control of which the a uh, subset is conservation in, in biological control a second type of biological control is augmentative biological control third type of the biological control is classical or uh, inoculative biological control commercially um, cryptolemius monotrozeri uh, it is a millibug destroyer and the delphestus catalini it is a white fly predator next is the rhizobus uh, lofenthi and uh, it feeds on mostly hard and soft scales and mealy bugs on the ornamentals next is the hippodamia convergence this ladybird beetle feeds on the aphid scales and thrips and in citrus or ornamentals fruits and vegetables and in the greenhouses and the interior scapes this species occur in the florida but is a there is a potential problem some suppliers do not rear the beetle but collect overwintering adults from the mountains of the eastern california these overwintering adult beetles may be heavily parasitized and may die and they may be programmed at the end of the winter to end the hibernation by the flying West, uh, which uh, may do you know, uh, do you know good if they are they all take to the flight at your property. All animals have the natural enemies, so these ladybird beetles also have uh, enemies, and these are uh, various insects and uh, uh, fly. These flies act as a parasitoids or the parasites of uh, the lady bird beetle various wasps also attack on the lady bird beetle this is the completion of the topic thank you